stuff. So I'm going to show you how you can create a um, Napster net files using uh, your, your smartphone. So let's start by downloading the application. Um, yeah, installing it. So after installing the application, I'm going to show you each and everything what you need to do and the following steps. Okay. Don't forget to click the subscription button uh, below this video and don't forget to share to your friends so that they can also um, enjoy this content if at all you've enjoyed it. Okay. Great. Okay, now the only thing you have to do, you import your your VMS from the clipboard or QR code. If at all you're going to scan, um, let me say, um, you're having a QR code, uh, QR code, and the, the one I want to scan. So that one, um, you need to get your phone and the import from QR code the code the way you see and then the file gets imported just like the way you're seeing on this screen over here the method of how you can create a file is um for you to import from the clipboard and um you have to copy of your, your vms from the clipboard i have it here and uh what you have to do then come back here and then i select import from clipboard and then my file will be imported just like the way you're seeing on the screen here then all i'll need to do is to do some edits um not all of you that you need to do some edits but for for the sake of this for the sake of this uh software i'm using to run android applications and uh, the way so you put your host there put host and then you click tick after putting your host and then you come back here um, where you see the share icon, you name your file. You can name this whatever you can name it, or I can name it Scott UG. Scott UG, and then I can lock it with a password. Um, I said that whoever I send it to first require a password from me. I can lock it to mobile data, I don't recommend that. I, I can block rooted device, I recommend that. Um, Play Store installation, I recommend that. Um, set expiry date. Um, that is when you want this file to be only used for a few period. And then hardware ID, that is if you want to record to um, to lock this uh, file to only one device. But uh, for the fact that we are only using, um, I'm going to share this file to the public. Whoever wants to use this file to use, I don't need to lock this. And then after that, I'll need OK. And then I'll, I'll double check. Uh, I'll double check what I wanted to use. OK. And then I save my file. After that, I can even import it. Um, import any PV file. OK. Don't show this again. And then uh, I'll need. I'll need to get my file which I've stored here i hope i've shown you each and everything the way things are supposed to be done okay if i've missed out something don't forget uh, to leave that in the comment uh in the comment section of this video so that we can share out um i can reply to you as soon as i can with that i mean scott ug we meet another video god bless you